10 years of fairy tale, chapter 495. Let's do this. So we got a crazy setup going on here, not so in the game. Charging right into the 1 million soldier army of Zerif. Now we all know 1 million army is just a big number. It was just going to be cannon fodder for the most part. Because we see Natsu, Urza, Grey, Lucy, and Juvie just blasting right through them. And even though they're trying to back each other up, let's overpower them with our numbers. It's not really going to happen. Toss any number you want. If you're just cannon fodder, you're cannon fodder. It's a basic fact. And from out of the woodwork, we start seeing more and more people coming through. We see Wendy, we see Elfman, Angel, Yukino, and all these other characters. Coming in for the big fight, charging through to get the fairy tale, get the Mavis, get the Xerif. However, on their way, we see the main obstacle. First off, partially resurrected God Serena bringing in the eight dragon modes that we've heard so much about. He tosses in some fire, he tosses in some water. So we're seeing that magic that he's pretty much been hyped up all about. Now, for the most part, we see him living, living up to the hype. He's pushing back all these fairy tale members that are charging right for him, saying, Nope, you're not going to get past me. So I'm trying to wonder how strong he is. He claims to be the strongest. So we're about to find out how strong he is. We obviously see Natsu struggling against him, which is a good thing. So he's not going to be a simple pushover. And as they struggle for a bit, there wasn't really much to this chapter except for some fighting. Some pretty sweet fighting. Now though, for that ending. Ooh, that ending. You see the big guy himself? Big Papa Gildart's coming in like that plot armor needs him to. Looking all scruffly, scraggly, ready to go home to Fairy Tale, drink some spirits, and crash out and eat like a king. So after about a year, I'm curious to see how stronger Gildart has gone. We're still waiting to see more of the Spring and Twelve come into come into play. Who's gonna fight who? How are they gonna fight? Fairy Tale, as pumped up as they are, they are still pretty much weakened from their previous fights with these twelve members. Are we going to see some rematches? Are we going to see some different combos? Who's going to fight who? Tossing all that aside, we're going to see all this conflict happen. Someone needs to actually die, sacrifice, do something heroic. Maybe it's going to be Gildarts fighting God Serena. Maybe someone else along the line. Still wondering how much time do the fairy tale members have before Eileen extracts Fairy Heart from Mavis? Is Acnologia going to pop up at some point, or is he straight across the continent somewhere? Is Zeref going to fight? And another thing too, we see Happy remembering Zeref saying, You destroy me, Natsu's going to die too. So he has some conflicting emotions inside of him. He's trying to think of a way, no, I'll make sure Natsu doesn't die. Come on, Happy, he's Natsu's little buddy, you gotta think of something, but when you really think about it, what is Happy going to do? And again, just wondering what God Serena's got up his sleeve, how much of a fight he's going to put up against Gildarts. How much stronger has Gildart's gotten? That's all I got for this one. Pretty, I want to say a short chapter, but a very fast chapter to go through with the fighting. We're building up more and more to chapter 500. Five more chapters to go. So, what are your thoughts on this? Just leave it in the comment section below. Hope you enjoyed. This is Nigel Ascur, signing out. Later.